Welcome back, my dear students. So in the last lecture, I told you that we were going to actually use this in a proper way. And when I say proper way, meaning is that, um, meaning that we were going to be loading up a view and then passing in that information to the view. All right. So this is not the right way of doing it, of course. So what we're going to be doing is, and I'm going to actually be commenting this out right here. All right. We still need to load up the user model, right? We are actually doing this already automatically, so we don't need to do it, but we need to still call this, all right? So once we get that result from it, we can say this. Actually, let's go ahead and make a view to display our users. So I'm going to views folder, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to create a show uh, view, actually user, user view dot PHP. There we go. Let's create a view for our users to also. All right. Perfect. I'm going to actually put some HTML in there. All right. Like this. Save. So I got some HTML code, an empty HTML5 page, and that's going to be the user view. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to name the title user in view. Save. All right. So let's go to our users model right here. And now we're going to load that view. Actually, yeah, we're going to load it in. Let's go ahead and say load view. And then here we type in the name user underscore view. And let's go and see what we get. Actually, we already have a screen right here. And we have to just say users show. All right. So it's not, we don't see anything here. But if you see the title of our tab, it says user view. And that's exactly what we put in a user view right here. All right, so we know that's working. So how do we transfer information? How do we put information here? Very good question. So let's go to a user's view here. All right, right below here, I'm going to type in data. All right, that is an array, as you can see. And I'm going to, this array is used in Cold Ignited to put information here. Let's, let me show you. So let's say, for example, I want to say welcome. Welcome. Let's assign a string to that. And I say welcome to my page. All right. Beautiful. Now what we do is as a second parameter to this view function right here, method, right? We're going to put a little comma and we're going to paste that data in there. Now in the user view, underscore view here, I can put some PHP tags. And I can echo out. All right. And actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do it in between H1 tags. There we go. I'm going to echo out this welcome. Now, I want you to notice something. Here, I have the same text as I have in this array right here. That's because this value right here will become a variable that you can use all right and that's what we're doing right here it becomes a variable and we are using it so if I if I save it and come here and enter you can see that it says welcome to my page it will give me the contents of whatever values I assign to it as you can see there all right so now can you guess how we can actually access data well if you didn't if you didn't get it I'll show you data and here we just gotta say results save and then come back to your user underscore page here and you can put a for loop in here and you can say results
as object for example and then you can just loop through it right and you can say something like echo same thing we did over there as a matter of fact you can just copy and paste it here but I like to do it the hard way sometimes all right and then you can come here and say enter and as you can see we are displaying the passwords for you for each user if you want to see it more clearly you can just put username concatenate a br tag enter all right and that's how you do it beautiful so as you can see right here we are keeping the MVC pattern intact all right we are using a controller all right to communicate with our model which is right here that is actually making queries to our database all right we're getting that result back we're returning it and then we come back to the model again and here we are using that data all right array to transfer that information to the view so we are loading in the view controller all this is the controller communicating with the model and then communicating with the view as you can see the controller the controller is the middleman taking care of everything here and this is what the MVC pattern or structure or frameworks actually is all right don't get confused don't get over it's not over it's not complicated it's just that they are separating logic from from presentation here all right controllers models and views as you can see this is how it works right there all right thank you so much hopefully you understand this and i'll see you in the next lecture